Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. And this video is all about an amazing secret teleport glitch I'm going to show you. If you go down to this boat here in Stormwind Harbor, and go onto the surface of the ship, and then shimmer, and then use your displacement talent, something very strange happens indeed, as you can see here. Well, that's fairly self-explanatory. You get ported into the middle of nowhere. And in this particular occasion there's this weird flying through the air effect. Doesn't always do this. That seems to be some kind of interaction between the boat and the displacement glitch. More often than not you simply get teleported to a fairly random, if somewhat predictable, location. If we get on the same ship, you'll see that you don't always end up in the same place. Uh, the glitch seems to be dependent on exactly where the ship is. This glitch is highly sensitive to initial parameters. You often get disconnected, and then when you relog back in, Floating above Silver Pine Forest there. This works in instances as well. If you go into the Gate of the Setting Sun, that's a Pandaria dungeon. And you go into this elevator. You're really looking for anything that moves. Again, Shimmer and Displacement. You get right outside the instance. There's this huge area here, there's four entire uh, uncompleted zones outside the Getting the Setting Sun instance. Get onto this uh, Sapphire Dream area here. Uh, it's a really cool area, I'm not going to show you much of it. Uh, have fun exploring it and discovering it for yourself, there's a lot to see here. So it's really amazing glitch because normally to get out here, I mean I've seen uh, I've seen an exploration video from was a troke here where he utilizes pretty much every explorer's trick in the arsenal um, beyond the competence of an explorer like myself. You really need to be quite skilled to break out of the instance normally, and this is a much much e easier and accessible way of doing it. can also do the same trick in the Throne of Tides here. This trick works basically on anything which moves, isn't a vehicle, and is large enough to shimmer across. There's some elevators which are too small to shimmer across. This allows you to get out of Throne of Tides. It's a strange one, this. You'd assume it being Throne of Times that it would be all water outside, but it's not, actually. You'll often get a, a character error. You'll say you're already logged in when you try this particular glitch. Just give it a few seconds and try again. It should work. Also do the same trick on the gunship in Ice Crown Citadel. And this trick also works in battlegrounds. Here we're in Strand of the Ancients. Wanna go into invisible or stealth mode? Just so you don't get hit by the AOE. As the enemy players come off the ship.
And this was sorry due to the area behind where the ship actually starts in Strand of the Ancients. You can run around and explore all those boats. You actually go to the edge of the map. You're behind the invisible walls. If you've ever tried to uh, go in the opposite direction, uh, jumped off the ship, you'll you'll hit the invisible walls. This sends you behind them. It's a whole lot to explore there. It's really interesting. And we're in Shatrath here. We're going to jump on both of these elevators. Going on the one on the left here first. This sends you right out into the Twisting Nether. And there you are in Nagrant on the south edge. And we're going to port straight back to Shatrath and going to take the other elevator. This time you get ported in the other end of nowhere and the map thinks you're in Northrend for some reason. Halls of Origination with its extremely large elevator offers a, another prime candidate for using this displacement glitch. And you can see we're ported right outside the Halls of Origination instance. You can see the dungeon in the distance there. There's a huge chunk of Uldum here to run about and explore. And finally, I'm going to show you the displacement glitch in Isle of Conquest on the gunship. This gets rather mixed results. When the boat is static, what tends to happen is you get ported south of the Isle on the edge of Futeague waters. You see the battleground there in the distance. And if we try it with the gunship in motion, Something really weird happens again. And you actually die and your corpse floats around and you can see how large the Isle of Conquest map is. That's Jutenheim. That's uh, cut out from Northrend. And your corpse will actually fly around a bit. And And you'll see us passing over a piece of Sholazar Basin down there. There's an awful lot more to try. Basically, anything which moves isn't a vehicle and is of reasonable size, enough size to shimmer on, uh, can be used in this way. There's lots more to discover here. And ch changing the exact position the transport you're on uh, using the glitch here, that different uh, specific uh, location uh, will give you very different results uh, so there's a lot more to discover here okay so there's the hack hope you found it interesting and useful there's a lot of cool stuff like this uh, that's been coming out of late so please make sure that you're subscribed uh, to keep up to date with everything and uh, thank you for watching this has been Archfelder Isn't this just so beautiful?